to begin at the beginning. It is spring, moonless night in the small town, starless and Bible black. The cobble street silent and the hunched quarters and rabbits wood limping invisible down to the slow black. Slow black, crow black, fishing boat bob in sea. The houses are blind as moles, though moles see fine tonight in the snouting velvet dingles. Or blind as Captain Cat, there in the muffled middle by the pump and the town clock. The shops in mourning, the welfare hall in widow's weeds. And all the people of the lulled and dumbfound town are sleeping now. Hush, the babies are sleeping. The farmers, the fishers, the tradesmen and pensioners. Cobbler, schoolteacher, postman and publican. The undertaker and the fancy woman. Drunkard, dressmaker, preacher, policeman. The webfoot cockle women and the tidy wives. Young girls lie bedded soft or glide in their dreams with rings and trousseau, bridesmaided by glowworms down the aisles of the organ playing wood. The boys are dreaming wicked, or of the bucking ranches of the night and the Jolly Roger Sea, and the anthracite statues of the horses sleep in the fields, and the cows in the byres, and the dogs in the wet nosed yards, and the cats nap in the slant corners, or lope sly, streaking and needling on the one cloud of the roofs. You can hear the dew falling and the hushed town breathing. Only your eyes are unclosed to see the black and folded town fast and slow asleep. And you alone can hear the invisible starfall, the darkest before dawn, minutely dew-grey stir of the black, dab-filled sea where the Arethusa, the Curlew and the Skylark, Zanzibar, Rhiannon, the Rover, the Cormorant, and the Star of Wales tilt and rise.